This is volume five of Stories of the Red Rat and the Red Hen. This um, does not contain stories that necessarily introduce combinations of vowels. They're just little moral stories. Stories of the Red Rat and the Red Hen, volume five. The Red Rat and the Dude. Did they our team play basketball with the rabbit team, says the Red Rat. How was that, asked the hen. They yelled at us, says the rat. We want a pitcher, not a belly itcher. Hey, batter, hey, batter, batter. You couldn't hit the ground if you fell off a ladder. What did you do, asked the hen. We yelled back, of course, says the rat. Yeah, well, that's just your opinion. Then we sang the rodent dudeness anthem. We don't heckle, we don't shame. We don't answer rude with rudeness. We don't badger, we don't blame. We rise above with rodent dudeness. The dude abides, says the rat. He said, nice mormon. Remember that? The red rat tries. Cheerleader tryout day is here. The popular squirrels all volunteer. Their looks are cute. Their tails are your suit. Their brains are moot. The kangaroo rat says to the red rat, Pooh, the squirrel cannot yell like you. A rat cheerleader is overdue. The red rat says, That is so true. I have a voice like a kazoo. I'll show the squirrels a thing or two. The chinchilla acts surprised. He says snidely, Is that wise? Your eyesore tail will make you fail. You cannot win with a tail that thin. The lemmings, of course, all jump in. A bare-naked tail is a crime against nature, a risk to our future, a blow to our stature. The red rat feels sick and sad in his tummy. He says to himself, I'm such a big dummy. I have no fluffy tail to shake. This whole idea was a big mistake. The kangaroo rat gives his friend a pat. Don't listen to rodents who talk like that, he says. Being born with pom-poms is not the only way to get pom-poms. Now fetch some magazines from your den and find some scissors and let's begin. The red rat and the kangaroo rat snip the magazines into strips. They bind the strips into fluffy pom-poms. Just in time, they rush back. To the tippy-top tier, the bleachers are packed. Way down below on the shiny floor, popular squirrels take turns trying out. See us waggle left and right. Stand up, sit down, fight, fight, fight. See us waggle all around. Stand up, fight, fight, sit back down. The rodents clap and chatter. Finally, it is the red rat's turn. The kangaroo rat turns up the music really loud. Help me, rodent. Help, help me, rodent. Help me, rodent. Yeah, get her out of my heart. The red rat leaps onto the court, waving his banners like a madman. He twirls his pom-poms so fast they blur. He spins like a whirling dervish. He leaps like Rudolf Nureyev. He howls like a banshee. Na, 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 sis, boom, ba, all for one and one for all. Yay, rodents. The crowd goes wild. The red rat wins. Moral, don't listen to the chinchilla. Rodentia by the red rat. Is odor prudentia mammal perfection? That is the question. There is no need to guess. The answer is yes. Of mammals, we are most abundant. Go north or south, you'll find a rodent. The rodent anthem states the obvious. Rodents are extremely populous. Rodentia anthem. Rodentio, rodentia, rodentio, rodentia. Rodents everywhere, rodentio, rodentia. We don't need fangs or a poison sting. Our only goal is more offspring. We are kind and mild animals. We do not dine on fellow mammals. Carnivores are barbarians. We are vegetarians. Our teeth grow our entire lives. They're scissor sharp and work like scythes. We use them to eat grass and hay. We pretty much just chew all day. We don't need help to get along. Most stories about us are wrong. 
Because we thrive with humankind, they think of us as verminkind. But we alone don't spread disease. What about humans with fleas? Rodents throughout history by the Red Rat. Nefertiti ruled the Order of Rodentia 3,500 years ago. Then she died and was mummified. Socrates was an ancient Rodentian. He was known for knowing that he knew nothing. He said, if you think you know what's what, then you are an idiot. Kenny Pig Van Beethoven was a music composer. He lost his hearing but kept his composure. He played refrains in his brain that he heard in his mind. It worked fine. Gerbil and hamster right put wings on a bicycle and flew. Albert Porcupine knew that E equals MC2. What that means, I have no clue. Alfred Wichuk was a movie director. He was awful to birds. He was rude beyond words. Ernest Lemingway wrote, For Whom the Cat Bell Tolls. He said that when it comes to cats, all rodentia must stand with rats. Sir Winston Gerbil saved the nation with oration. Radahari acted nice while she spied on other mice. The thinker was carved by Rodin, the famous French marmot. The man is singing that he should have been nicer to rats. Henry Beaver Thoreau built a pond at Walden. Nelson Chinchilla fought for freedom. Usain Bowl is the king of sport, and that's the end of this report. The red rat teases Chinchilla. The Chinchilla we had this spelling bee, the red rat says. He and the lemmings yelled at me. Bear tail, bear tail like a pig, why don't you get a tail wig? So I yelled back. Hair tail, hair tail, bad toupee, why don't you just go away? Oh my goodness, says the hen. I guess you won't be friends with him. The rat is grim. He is a rodent attila with a lemon flotilla, he says. I really can't stand that chinchilla. For such a furry little dude, he has an awful attitude. His cuteness is a thin disguise, says the hen. You need to look with your mind's eyes. Once you know somebody well, his looks transform, for good or ill. If you respect him, he looks handsome. If you don't, he looks loathsome. It's all in what you focus on. I, for example, am no swan. If you didn't know me as a hen, I'd look to you like a chicken. But now, when you look at me, you see my personality. Your mind's eye has a special lens that improves the look of friends. Your enemies get no such perk. That's the way the good looks work. They don't stay good if you're a jerk. Rodentia Tribune, editorial. Who's the real problem here? By Muskrat Obama. Our main fault in the eyes of man is that we eat what's in his garbage can. Primarily because of that, human beings despise us rats. They say we're invasive and that we infest. Ironically, just what the humans do best. When it comes to infestations, have you seen the human nations? As to being a mammal curse, who invaded the world first? We just went along for the sale from the garbage pail. Humans are so awful that they should be unlawful. Their nests are blight, their brains are not bright. They are too greedy to plan ahead. They think if they're rich, they will never be dead. Like humans leaving a sinking ship when things get hot, they plan to skip. Hopefully it won't be so late that the rest of us incinerate. This is not the end, Sir Winston Gerbil said. It is not even the beginning of the end, but it is, perhaps, the end of the beginning. Hmm. The end for now. Stay in tune, raccoon. That is the end of Volume 5. All we have left now is Volume 6 and 7. Thank you. Bye.